All right, welcome back. We are looking at BNB on the 45 minute time frame right now. And well, if you guys did end up watching last video, I would encourage you guys to go and watch it because what I talked about in last video, we were pretty spot on. Even mentioning the 206 mark. Now I didn't label 206, but we did talk about that very explicitly. Um, how do I know this? Well, I just went back and watched my own video. So that's how I know. <laughs> and then we pretty much just talked about this entire thing. We said basically this white box right here was, if you are bearish, this is going to be the area where you end up finding a rejection point. So we are looking for it to come back down, bounce back on up, and then that would be our rejection point if we are indeed bearish. Now, what we also mentioned with this white line right here, this lower one that I just clicked on, we ended up breaking that support and we were back testing right here pretty much as resistance. So we were saying that we should probably end up coming back down no lower than 206. Now, pushing back on up, this would be the area to get rejected from. And then even if we do end up pushing up here in this overall range, the red box and white line is going to be your overall resistance. Now, the only caveat to this is the white line that we had marked. So... That was at $2, or oh, not $2, $221.20. And you can see we did just like peak a little bit above there. And then we're ultimately getting rejected right now. So uh, this box right here can actually be, um, how do I put this? This box right here can ultimately end up acting as your like demand now, which this is a range of $215.60 to $216.90. So you could look for it right there. Now, what I will say is you will turn bearish if you do end up breaking past the white line again. Even if you end up coming back on up, what I anticipate that you'd probably end up seeing that as a retrace to go down for a larger move back on down. But ultimately, what you can see here now is in the grand scheme of things, you did end up making a low. You made a higher high in comparison to this one. You made a higher low over here, and then you moved back on up and made a higher high. Now... On top of this, what you did also end up seeing happen, this low over here was a higher low of this one. So then you could make the argument that we actually are getting ready to move even higher, which if you, once again, uh, I'm not sure. Actually, no, I, I, I didn't show it last video, I don't believe. I kind of skimmed through it, but I know the video before that, we made a comparison of BNB, specifically to Ethereum Classic back in, uh, what was it? Uh, June or July of 2022, where it pretty much just had that, v back on up we said the structure looks somewhat similar to right here which if we were to have that happen the next move higher where either your resistance is going to be this red box if not moving higher than there uh you would be looking at like a fairly substantial sub uh, substantial move uh to end up playing out so that being said what I'm ultimately looking for right now is I do not want to see us break below two or two hundred dollars thirteen two hundred thirteen dollars. Wow, that was a mouthful for me apparently. I uh, don't want to see it break below there, and then ideally move back on up, moving back on up from that point on. Um, I mean, ideally you're gonna be wanting to break that high at two thirty four, and then the area of interest or to be cautious at. For a rejection would be at $237.90 to $241.80. Now, if you do end up coming back down lower and then breaking that 213, then I mean, uh, I mean, if you end up breaking that, then you're you just you can't break 206. It's gonna be that simple again. So um other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.